The world of Harry Potter is filled with magic, but nothing can explain these mistakes. The Harry Potter series isn't exactly all that perfect. In fact, there are several problems in the movies that absolutely need to be addressed. While most fans would prefer to ignore these grievous mistakes in the movies, the fact of the matter is that mere ignorance can't come into play when it comes to talking about these egregious mistakes. Here are 10 editing mistakes in the Harry Potter movies you won't believe exist. Number 10. You can't cast spells without uttering its incantation. One of the biggest annoyances in the film started from the fifth movie onwards, when the wizard started casting spells without uttering the incantation for said spell. This was a major problem, since casting spells without a single word should not be possible. In fact, it's a major bending of rules in the Harry Potter universe, since only the best wizards could cast spells without having to speak the name of said spell. It's a minor detail, but people who've read the books would find this to be a major annoyance nonetheless. Nine. Harry switches sides in the banquet scene after he's sorted into Gryffindor. The Harry Potter movies are generally known for boasting high levels of quality, and one need only take a look at the amazing production values of the first one to understand what we're talking about. However, mistakes are still quite prevalent. Take the first banquet scene as an example. After Harry is sorted into Gryffindor, during one shot, he's shown to be sitting next to Fred, or is it George? However, after the next cut, he's shown to be next to Hermione instead, who was sitting opposite to him prior to that. 8. Candles clearly hanging from wires after Quirrell faints in the Great Hall. The scene showing the Great Hall in the first movie is one of the most wondrous shots in the first Harry Potter movie, enthralling kids from all over the world with the sheer beauty of a fantasy that pretty much anyone would love to live in. The floating candles were definitely one of the highlights of the Great Hall. Children who were left wondering how these candles were floating in the movie, aside from, you know, magic, had the answer right in front of them during one goof up. In the scene after Quirrell announces the threat of the troll and faints, the shot pans over to Minerva McGonnell. During this shot, you can clearly see wires supporting the floating candles behind her. <laughs> Seven, Harry's wound changes shape near the end of the Goblet of Fire. You know what? Let me just state right out of the bat that covering real wounds is way easier than creating fake ones. After all, how would one even remember where to put said wound for continuity purposes? Simply stating Harry's left cheek would not be the best course of action to take. The faltering of this practice can be seen in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire where Harry seems to have a permanently scarred face altogether. But that's a different story. Instead, let's focus on the fact that Harry's wound actually changes shape in two different scenes, which is just so weird. 6. Cameraman spotted during dueling scene. How hard is it to move away from a shot if that's exactly what your job entails? Well, not really, but most cameramen should know when the camera is on them in the first place. To be honest, that also might be the director's fault. But let's shelve this train of thought for a second. The reason why we became so passionate about this is because of this. During the dueling clash between Draco and Harry, there's a scene where the camera pans over and, well, one's immersion is completely ruined. We say this because you can clearly see a cameraman behind the students catching his own shot of the action. Five, an obvious fake bird when Harry and Ron crash into platform nine three quarters. Chamber of Secrets is a rather dark entry into the Harry Potter universe. Or at least, that's what most kids believe since the franchise was gradually shifting into a darker tone anyway. The movie features Dobby, the beloved house elf who initially seems like a thorn in Harry's side since he's constantly trying to impede Harry's journey to Hogwarts. Although that was for a viable reason. One such obstacle put in Harry's path was the secret passage to Platform 9 3 quarters, where both Harry and Ron crash with a resounding thud. However, during this shot, one might notice that Hedwig doesn't exactly look natural, 
or alive to be honest. Well, this is because it's actually a bird prop. And now we're kind of thankful that no owls were harmed in the making of this movie. 4. Ron's book appears and disappears during the Hippogriff class with Hagrid. Prisoner of Azkaban is widely considered by many to be the best Harry Potter movie around, but even a great movie like this has a few goof-ups when it came to the screenplay. One such mistake comes during the iconic class with Hagrid, where Harry learns how to ride Buckbeak, the Hippogriff. During this scene, it seems that the director had no idea whether to put Ron's book in his hand or not. We say this because there are shots with Ron carrying a book, while other shots have this book completely missing. 3. Voldemort's wand switches positions in Wormtail's coat. The Goblet of Fire continues the trend of Harry Potter movies slowly becoming darker and darker over time, with the first instances of the unforgivable curses being introduced and used quite a bit. These three spells would become quite prevalent over time, with the Avada Kedavra curse becoming quite prominent due to its unfortunate use on Cedric Diggory. However, this depressing scene is instantly followed by a baffling one, where, after Voldemort becomes whole again, he asked Pettigrew for his wand. There's a problem in this scene, though. While Peter initially put the wand in his left coat pocket, he takes it out from his right later. My wand worked out. <sighs> 2. Umbridge's spoon appears and disappears while giving Harry detention. Dolores Umbridge is one of the most reviled characters amongst the Harry Potter fandom, and it's easy to see why this is the case. After all, the fact of the matter is that anyone who's seen the movies or read the books knows just how vile this character can be. After all, no normal person gives detention to a student that causes scars to form on their hand. Keen-eyed moviegoers might have noticed one flaw in the manner in which this detention scene was presented. The tea that Umbridge is drinking from doesn't have a spoon next to it on the saucer, until suddenly it does. You're going to be doing some lines for me today, Mr. Potter. No, not with your quill. I'm going to be using a rather special one. 1. Dudley's shorts change their design in the opening scene of Order of the Phoenix. This might be a really minor thing that is better off not mentioned only, but we're still going to do it nevertheless. The introductory scene of the Order of the Phoenix is quite strong, with Harry fighting off a bunch of Dementors in a bid to defend himself and Dudley. However, not all is well with this scene. While it might be a small nitpick, Dudley's shorts actually change their design from the time he's giving Harry a hard time to the point where he's caught out by the Dementors. That's all for today. This has been 10 editing mistakes in the Harry Potter movies you won't believe exist. Thank you for watching and make sure to leave a like. And also don't forget to subscribe for more top 10 videos. And we will catch you in our next video.